Phase change unit, lesson 3.2, focusing on molecular attraction. Activity 4, exploring attraction in the sim. For the rest of chapter 3, we will continue to investigate attraction and its effect on phase change. We will be thinking about stability and change, such as when a substance phase remains stable and when it changes. Now we will begin investigating this question. How does molecular attraction affect whether or not a phase change will occur? We know now that the attraction of a substance never changes, but it can be different for different substances. This difference allowed isopropanol to evaporate, but not water. Phase change does not happen every time the kinetic energy of a substance changes. This is because phase change is determined by both kinetic energy as well as molecular attraction. Next, you will use what we learned about attraction to make and test predictions about what will happen in the sim. The sim will help you gather more evidence about how attraction affects phase change. Students, play the video. You and your partner will compare different substances and discuss the results. You should leave gravity turned on as this makes it easier to distinguish among a solid, liquid, or gas. Before each test, you'll make a prediction about the substances. For test one, you'll prepare each substance by transferring energy into to reach the highest amount of kinetic energy. Then you'll be ready to slowly transfer energy out. For test two, you'll prepare each substance by transferring energy out to reach the lowest amount of kinetic energy. Then you'll be ready to slowly transfer in. Students work in the sim. Remember to make predictions before running your tests. Take about eight minutes to make and test predictions. Start with either the highest or lowest possible kinetic energy. Think about what evidence you will use to determine if the substance is a solid, liquid, or gas. Answer the wrap-up questions about your SIM investigation. Now let's share some of our findings from the SIM as a class. What did you find out about how attraction affects phase change? Did substance B or C require more energy to be removed in order for it to become a liquid, and why? You might say, the attraction between molecules in substance C is lower, so more energy had to be transferred out before the attraction could pull the molecules together. Did substance A or B require more energy to be added in order for it to become a liquid, and why? You might say, the attraction between molecules in substance A is higher, so more energy had to be transferred in for the kinetic energy to overcome the strong attraction. Next, we'll use the modeling tool to review the isopropanol and water investigation. Remember, the same amount of energy was transferred into both substances, but only isopropanol had enough kinetic energy to evaporate. Energy change needed. Let's take a moment to review how we might use the modeling tool to represent the transfer of kinetic energy for the water and isopropanol activity. We'll look at each in further detail. These solid arrows show the actual movement of energy transferred into both substances. The solid arrows are the same length for both substances because the same amount of energy was transferred into both substances. These dotted arrows represent the amount of energy change needed for a phase change. These dotted arrows are a new feature that you will use in the future modeling tool activities. If the actual change in energy was greater or equal to the energy needed for a phase change to occur, then we know a phase change occurred. We can see this in the isopropanol example. The arrow labeled with a red A hexagon is the actual energy change. This arrow is longer than the energy needed for a phase change to occur arrow, which is dotted and labeled with a red Z box. This indicates that the phase change occurred. If the actual change in energy was less than the energy needed for a phase change to occur, then a phase change did not occur. We can see this in the water example. The arrow labeled with the red A hexagon is the actual energy change. This arrow is shorter than the energy needed for a phase change arrow, which is solid and labeled with a red Z. This indicates that a phase change did not occur. End of activity.